Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today we will be taking a look at one of the most broken vehicles in War Thunder. Hmm, sometimes. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The T-72 M2 Moderna is a Slovakian 10.0 MBT in the Soviet territory. Now, the Moderna is a special case when compared to other traditional Russian MBTs with the addition of Gen 2 gunners and commander thermals, which even some of the top Russian MBT doesn't have. The Moderna comes with an upgraded protection system compared to the T-72A, which it is based off of. The tank is covered from top to bottom with the Dynast ERA and has access to a laser warning system to notify you when someone is laser range finding you or if a helicopter is trying to attack you. Even though the tank is well protected, it retains several design defects from its predecessor, the T-72A. One shot for the driver's port or the tank's side, and it's dead. However, the tank holds its own against tanks with the same battle rating and will be incredibly difficult to take down in a down tier. Due to the availability of 600mm penning rounds, top tier MBTs may quickly finish your tank and send you back to the hangar. Now the Moderna's weaponry is quite conventional for a T-72. However, the tank is equipped with the innovative Tapna APFSDS shell, which has 500 plus millimeters of penetration as compared to the 3BM42 Mango shells that the Russian tanks traditionally use at this battle rating. Mobility wise, don't expect too much, it's a T-72 after all, but if you've never played a T-72 before, it accelerates really well and reaches its top speed relatively fast. However, the reverse speed is quite abysmal, only negative 4 km per hour. That's about negative 2.5 miles per hour, which will really hinder your ability to correct your mistakes after overextending. To be honest, that applies to all T-72 variants, so don't expect too much from it. Now that you've gathered all of this knowledge, the question is, how should you play this tank? Let's go over the main issue again. It has strong armor but suffers in an up tier, it has a lot of firepower for its battle rating, and it accelerates quickly but reverses like a snail. With those considerations in mind, I believe it is reasonable to conclude that a support or ambush technique will work incredibly well with it. Overextending will be a huge issue for many players, especially given the high acceleration and top speed, because that's exactly what I did. Staying a little behind the front line will nearly ensure an improvement in your survival. Mix that with your superb optic and tap the round, and you'll even become a brilliant sniper. Let's say you overextend it and you're being rushed while reloading. Don't worry, you have a 30mm coaxial autocannon. You're practically a BMP2 while reloading. Now you can shoot out their cannon barrel while you sit there and watch them pathetically repair. You're holding your PP in your hand and they aren't. That already gives you a significant advantage over your opponents. With all that in mind, I think it's safe to conclude that the T-72 M2 Moderna is a good support tank, but a bad frontline tank due to its massive weak spots. Is the T-72 Moderna, in the end, worth the effort? Personally, I'd say yes. Mostly because it's a very unusual tank for the Russian tech tree, and despite not being Russian. I believe this tank will pave the way for future vehicles like the PT-91 Tordy, but that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until then, I will see you all in the next video.